grains over here ready. So Glenda, we need to get them for it. What gets hot, sometimes these things start to wilt in the heat. I think these are mixed mustard greens and turnip greens. So we're gonna, we're gonna pick them. These are fairly tender. This should be a good, uh, good dinner. And this is my zucchini I had planted in amongst them. So I just let them grow, guys. Takes a lot of turnip greens and greens to make any to eat because they cook way down. Uh, the funny thing about these things, they didn't grow early in the spring, but when I planted those zucchinis, they started growing. Look what Mojo's brought in. Look at those beautiful tender greens. Turn up for mustard or... We're gonna wash them up good. I pick all these stems out. And then we're gonna cook them up for lunch. There's gonna be nothing but good, y'all. We'll make us some cornbread to go with them. There you go. Oh, yeah. You'd be surprised how much these things cook down if you've never done this. But they're gonna be really good, y'all. Tender greens is what they call them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tender greens, the first picking, they're always the best. All right, we got the greens all cleaned up there. Then we're gonna put them in our pot. That's some pretty greens. They're real nice looking greens. There's gonna be nothing but good, as Green would say. What she would say. <laughs> yes. And we could have. We don't have any turnips. I know a lot of you guys eat turnips. We like turnips, but uh, these greens didn't have turnips. They're too young and tender. Uh, early greens or early spring greens. They didn't have the turnips. Well, let's put some water in them, Glenn, and then we gotta put some good bacon grease in there. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. We're not gonna overdo it. We'll put a little bit of water. I'm not gonna put a whole lot of water because this will cook down. It will. That looks like enough to me. You think? Yeah, about half full. Not yet, not quite. I think okay, it's plenty, guys. The, the chef, chef in charge said it's plenty. She's the green cooker. I'm really just a green grower. If you need any more water, you can always add more. That's right. She is right on that. We'll turn it up high. I guess. Best I can see. No, I wasn't right. High over here. It does the opposite on the other side. <laughs> it does. Give me. Yes. Okay, Mojo. Where's your bacon grease? Let me get you good bacon grease out. I keep it in the freezer. I never, never keep mine out. Okay, there's the greens. And what you got in that, Mojo? See if I can read that. Bacon grease. Bacon, I the freezer. bacon grease. All right, see how it's in. Right there, it breaks up, breaks. Stays fresh, guys. Don't keep that stuff on your stove. Keep it in the freezer. Then you just take it out as you need it. All right, I want a good, what, how much, Glenda? A couple of tablespoons. A couple of tablespoons. Then, after they get uh, about done, we'll put some more seasoning in them. So you'll have to stay tuned to see how we finish these turnip greens off for these greens. 
So stay tuned. All right. These are little bitty bits. They're smaller than they may appear. And we appreciate each one of you taking the time to watch our videos. And we appreciate you subscribing and liking and commenting. And let us know if you like turnip greens and how you cook yours. We all need some tips. We certainly do, and we need more turnip greens, too. Yes, so stay tuned. Well, the greens are cooking. They're boiling. We put that um, bacon grease in them. And these being young, tender greens, we may just have to put some salt in them. But if you get some that's bitter, you can put some baking soda in them and a little bit of sugar. So what we'll do is we'll taste these when they get done and see if we need what we need to add. And look what we have in the oven. Mm-mm, some cornbread. And I added some onion and I added some jalapeno pepper to the cornbread. So this is gonna be good, y'all. And I'm gonna make a tomato pie. These greens have only been cooking for about 20 minutes. They're very tender, so it doesn't take long on these tender greens. I put just a dash of salt in them, probably a teaspoon, so let's see what they need. Look at there, guys. This whole bunch of greens you got. I don't know. You got probably a half of this cooker. Mm. How are they? They're not bitter. They're not real strong because they're so tender. Tender greens. Mm-hmm. So they're not going to need any sugar or baking soda, but if you do have some greens that are kind of bitter, you can put some baking soda in them and you can put some sugar in them. But these are just nice and tender. Y'all just need a little bit more salt. Yes. What are you doing in here? She's cooking. Cooking? Look what I brought. Oh, what did you have there? Some flowers. Mmm. Ooh, I think that's some mint for too, y'all. Yeah, mint. Give me that baked over here. Pour the water up and put some in there. Gonna be good, y'all. Mint makes tea really good. Are you gonna put lemonade? We'll have to do some videos on some different drink tips that you can use mint for. Just as good as flowers. It tastes good, huh? Mm-hmm. And it even freshens up your room. It does do that. It does. It's a southern thing, I guess. Maybe not. Do you drink this up north? Do you eat uh, mint? Do you have mint in your uh, tea, iced tea? Okay, y'all, there's our greens. They're looking really, really good. Won't be long now until they'll be done. And you can watch our video on how to make a tomato pie. If you think you would like a tomato pie, please check that video out because they're really, really good. All right, guys, there's our finished product there, sitting on the plate, ready to go. Glenda's already eating hers. How they taste, Glenda? They're nothing they did, y'all. She says they're just absolutely wonderful. They're real tender, guys. Grow you some mustard greens, turnip greens, and you'll have you some good turnip greens. Anyway, we've still got some. There some more over here. But, yeah, it, it cooked way down, guys. All those greens, man, they're good. But anyway, guys, tomato pie, cornbread, and good old turnip greens. Can't hardly get more southern than that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, our sweet home life.